Welcome to Come Home. I'm Jen Mallon, and what a delight it is to be with you today. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, just stop and listen. God has something He wants to say to you today, something He wants to impart to you. You know, so many of us for the last three, four years have been going through some valleys and some challenges, and we've had to relearn how to do a lot of things. In fact, God has just screeched the brakes on things and had us rebrand ourselves and reset and relearn. Isn't it wonderful how we can keep changing with the help of the Holy Spirit? Well, today my guest, Dr. Keith Johnson, is someone that is passionate. He's lived out a life where he was in one position and then had to completely change everything and develop an abundant life thinking. As a result of that, he has mentored and coached hundreds of thousands of people and helped them achieve freedom through wealth. He has a lot to say about it and it's all grounded in the word of God. Sometimes we hear that word wealth and we shy away. Listen, God is wealthy. He owns the cattle on a thousand hills. The silver is his, the gold is his. And he's very clear in the word that he wishes nothing more than that we prosper and be in good health, even as our soul, our spirit prospers. So today I pray that your heart will be open, that you will have an expectation. In fact, Dr. Keith Johnson says that expectation is your secret sauce that he's gonna share, he has things to give away. Because let me tell you, when you meet a wealthy person, if you track it back, generosity has so much to do with their wealth because what we sow, we reap. What we put in the ground, Jesus says it comes back. Uh, 30, 60, 100 fold, and even a thousand times more. And so today I pray you will join me, join Dr. Keith as we go on this beautiful journey. There's free stuff too. So let's go to this life hack and learn a little bit about him and his ministry. Hey, this is Dr. Willie Jolly. I am so excited to take a moment to tell you about my friend, Dr. Keith Johnson. He is the best speaker in the world on the topic of confidence. For over 22 years on nearly every continent, bringing his message of confidence to over 1.5 million people, Amazon best-selling author and America's number one confidence coach, Dr. Keith Johnson has transformed people from all walks of life. Keith, it may be one of the most powerful speakers I've ever seen. Dr. Johnson has worked alongside some of the most influential thought leaders, such as Les Brown, the world's number one motivational speaker, who said, Keith Johnson has unique insights, humor, and teaches life-changing principles that will increase your confidence and allow you to more fully live your purpose. As a founding member of the John Maxwell team, Keith understands the power of honest communication and the strategies for effective leadership. Dr. Keith Johnson has spoken in some of the largest churches in the world and frequently presents for Get Motivated Business Seminars, the largest speaking tour in the United States. Dr. Keith Johnson has also been featured on many popular national television shows. Women's World, the most read magazine for women across the globe, recognized him as one of America's ultimate experts on confidence. Whether you want to lead a business, organization, sales team, or a church, nothing happens until you gain more confidence. Are you ready for a positive change? This is your moment, an opportunity for you to be inspired and transformed by a proven expert. Everybody, please stand to your feet and welcome to the stage, America's number one confidence coach, Dr. Keith Johnson. Well, I'm thrilled to be with you today, and I'm also thrilled to introduce you, if you don't already know him, Dr. Keith Johnson, and Something I really love about him is that he has a passion to teach uh, financial intelligence. You know, we've heard of emotional intelligence, but wealth and financial intelligence, there's so much a part of the word, and sometimes there's just pages that we skip over. 
I'm a lover of Deuteronomy 28 blessings. I'm a John 10, 10 girl. Um, and I want to know all about the rewards and the promises because we serve a good father, a giving father, a father who loves to bestow upon his children. And today, Dr. Keith is going to open your eyes, open your heart, and take you back to a truth that maybe you um, just need to be more sharp on. So, Dr. Keith, thank you for being with us hey, today. thank you. It's great to be with you. I'm super excited. <laughs> oh, well, I love your story. I love your heart. And the way that God is using you, not just in the body, but um, outside the body to mm -hmm. reel people in and to um, just show them what Father has for them. Good gifts coming down from the Father above in whom there is no variableness nor shadow of turning. And even today you came bearing gifts and we'll kind of get into that more. But first, let's start. Tell us your story. Well, my story really started off with I had like this big desire. I was a complete heathen. I was like <laughs> John Travolta Jr. Not you. Boogie woogie <laughs> in the bars all night long. I worked all day to party all night long. I gave my heart to Christ and I had like a, a Paul of Tarsus experience. I mean, bam, God hit me and totally changed my life. I was totally delivered of alcohol, drugs, you know, chasing women. And I I surrendered my life. But then I had this calling from God. And I wanted to travel the world and, and help other people and to speak to other people. And the first 10 years of my effort to do that, I failed miserably. Aww. As a matter of fact, it got so bad. I was $180,000 in credit card debt. <sighs> I had no money in the bank. And my wife and I looked at each other and we had to say, hey, you know, we're going to be homeless in a few days. And thankfully, my mother-in-law called us while tears are running down my face, knots coming Aww. out of my nose. And she said, hey, you can move in with me. And I kind of define that like as hell on earth, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> like life can't get any worse than living with a mother-in-law who doesn't really like you, Aww. right? But what I, I say this, I say what you call a crisis, God calls a classroom. Yeah. And that was the toughest year of my life, but yet it was the greatest year of my life because I made a decision, right, that I was not going to fail my family financially anymore. Right. And I looked at my wife in the face and I said, honey, I'm going to get us out of this. And what I decided in that moment was I can no longer listen to preachers and theologians who don't have money, who only make $50,000 a year. I said, I'm going to study billionaires. I'm going to study people who have $100 million or more. And what I started to realize is when I started to study billionaires, I started find a common trait. Almost half of the billionaires were Jews. Yes. Reading the Old Testament, knowing the Old Testament, yes. practicing the Old Testament principles. Yes. And, and all of a sudden, I started to realize like there was this thing that, most of what I've been taught in church about money was wrong. Correct. When I started studying billionaires. Yeah. And so I, 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 made it a, I made a commitment. I still do it today. I still study from people who are at billionaire status. And I learned a whole lot. And I started to apply those new strategies in my own life. And everything changed. I went from $180,000 in credit card debt in three years. Now, this is only, only took me three years. Wow. $180,000 to no debt at all. I went from having no money in the bank to building a multi-million dollar expert empire as a speaker, author, coach. I went from living in my mother-in-law's house. <laughs> Hell! <laughs> right? Yeah. To just last week, my wife and I bought a $1.3 million house out on the water, cash. Wow. Right? So- I believe, honestly, I believe that every Christian listen to, listening to us today, that God can turn things around for them yes. really fast, just like me. However, there's some belief systems you got to face yeah. and change. It's like I often say, how many of you came here to learn? Everybody said, yeah, I came here to learn. I said, well, you're here at the wrong time because <laughs> what you need to do is unlearn a bunch of stuff that you learn from pastors that only make $50,000 a year. You need to unlearn some of that 
so that you can now learn some new strategies. So you got to change some belief systems. But the second big thing is strategies. Yes. Like a lot of people are living off of strategies that were taught in the 70s and 80s in a farming and industrial age. And now we're over here in a digital age where everything is fast and quick. Yeah. So the good thing is, is the world's catching up with the speed of God. <laughs> God and money love speed. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's and the thought. world is finally catching up to the speed of God. Remember, the scripture says in Hebrews 11, 1, now faith. Now faith. Ooh, God moves fast. He does. And his problem is, is his church moves slow. <laughs> <laughs> the tortoise and the hare, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and that, that's the whole thing, you know, <laughs> when you hear about people talk about wealth. They always, they always say, well, you know, I would rather... I, I would rather be the tortoise, you know, and just nice and slow and well, nice and easy. Well, that's the children of Israel, right? right? Uh, the Bible says it was only an 11-day journey that took them what? 40. 40 long years. And isn't it interesting that all the wealth teachers in Christendom, most of them, they teach like incremental, small little baby steps. Yeah. To get to there, 40 long years. When, wait a minute, man. We're not babies. We're not babies. <laughs> <laughs> and God, have you forgotten that God can turn everything around? Have you forgotten that in a day, yeah. the children of Israel went from being slaves to totally robbing and plundering the Egyptians of all their wealth? All of it. Are we forgetting that God's a, a supernatural miracle working God, and he can turn some things around for us. But, but here's what he can't do. He can't take us to a place we don't want to go. You're right. If you want to stay in Egypt, you're going to stay in Egypt, my mm -hmm. friend. If you want to stay in the wilderness, I call it middle class. Yeah. Middle class living is what? Living paycheck to paycheck. God takes care of you. But that's not God's best. Right. God said, I want you to go to the promised land. I got a wealthy place for you. But here's what I find. Most Christians are comfortable in middle class, just getting by. Mark my words. Middle class is the new compromise. That's good. If you're in middle class, struggling paycheck to paycheck, using credit cards to stay alive, you're selfish. Yeah. Why? Because you can't help anybody else. Right. And say, so, well, I'm taken care of. Well, that's selfish. You've got to, as a kingdom person, say, I've got to become wealthy. Yeah. And you got to set a name. God put two eyes in front of your face. <laughs> Why? He wants you to aim at something. And God said, hey, in case you don't understand, it's called the promised land. Yeah. In case you don't understand, it's a land flowing with milk and honey and blessings and abundance. And that's, you got to set your aim. Now, if you don't want to go, I ain't making you. Right. If you want to fight for your middle-class life and a poverty life, okay, fine. But in my mother-in-law's house, I made the decision because I was confused. Because when, when you're at your bottom, have you ever done this? I, I bet you have. When I was at my bottom, I'm like, you know, tears are coming down my face. I'm living with my mother-in-law. And I'm like, I'm needing a word from the Lord. Yes, a sign. I need a sign. So I need a sign. So I grabbed the remote control and I'm praying that somebody will speak to me through Christian television. Oh, yes. So I turn on TBN and the first pastor basically says, you know, if, you know, hey, if God's blessings really on you, you'll have an airplane and a jet and, and, and all this stuff. And I'm like, okay, that click the channel again. The next guy's like, poverty is per is purity. Yes. And I'm like, okay, is it poverty? Is it, I is know. it which one is it? And I just made a decision. I said, man, I'm I'm gonna find out what God's word says. Correct. And I just shut off all the voices and I went, I started in Genesis. There you go. And it didn't take me very long. <laughs> it didn't take me very long to figure out one after another, yes. of men of God. The oldest book in the Bible, Jen, is Job. 
He's a billionaire. And Job, <laughs> yes, and Job started off the first thing. Job walked with God and loved God and did what was right in his sight. And Job was the wealthiest man in all the East. Yes. Wow. You walk with God, you get wealthy. It's not very difficult. Yeah. And he did have some problems, but he got them right. Yes. And he never gave up. And he obeyed his way out of it. And he sowed his way out of it. And he forgave his way out of it. And he got double. He was already wealthy. Then he got double the wealth for praying for his friends. Right. So if God doesn't want us to be wealthy, then why would God double right. Job's prosperity? Exactly. So here's the problem that the church faces. Tell us. Is that it's not that we're not making money. If you're listening, it's not that you're not making money. That's not your problem. You're making money. The real issue, and it's why I wrote the book, Financial Fast Track, it's not that you're not making money, it's you're not making money fast enough. When I started studying billionaires, if you think about this at a logical level, they have billions because they know how to make money faster. Right, exponential, quantum leap. They're not into addition. Multiplication. They're into multiply. Yes. And so when you start thinking, as a believer, I've got to get out of this slow, the tortoise, which you mentioned, the tortoise. Yeah. Nice and slow, 40 easy, years, easy. Uh, instead of fast. See, the moral of the story is not, the, the, it's not the celebration of the tortoise. The moral of the story is don't be the rabbit and take a break. Right. You took a the break. rabbit should have kept his foot on the accelerator yeah. and won the race. In this season, we need to be both, not either or. Right. We need to be the we need to be the tortoise, steady, constant, you know, have discipline, not motivation, disciplined yeah. actions every single day, coupled with a mentality that thinks like God fast. Now faith is. God wants to turn my stuff around now. Now you release a new vibration in the earth. It's like, man, I am living life in expectation. And, and you start communicating to others, man, I want to be part of this guy. I want yeah. to be part of this girl. Hey, she's she's going somewhere because they look around everybody else walking around like, Ooh. I mean, it's like Tigger versus Eeyore, right? right? <laughs> Big difference. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nobody wants to follow Eeyore. No. And and so Bless this is heart. so very important for us to, to, to grab onto this. And, and one of the big things that I, I learned in my mother-in-law's house, like learning was that I knew what to do with 10% of my money, mm -hmm. but I did not know what to do with the other 90%. That's powerful. And what a lot of Christians need to grasp is that you can go broke tithing. What? Uh-huh. Yeah. You can tithe your way. You can give your way to poverty. Oh, no, that's no. Uh, listen, I got a list of seniors who tithe their whole life. List of pastors tied their whole life, and I had to pay for their funeral, hmm. right? Because they gave 10%. They didn't know how to take the other 90% and multiply it. Yeah. The first conversation God had with man, I mean, let, let's get back. What did God first say to man? Be fruitful and multiply. First Subdue, conversation dominate. God had with man was not, I'm a God of love. I want you to know that I'm a God of love, love, love. <laughs> love is all you need. That's not what he said. He said, I want you to understand you need to be before you do, do before you have, and have before you help people. Good. So I want you to be something, and then I want you to do something. Use your fruit, what's inside of you, to manifest wealth. And to take it and multiply that money. I didn't understand that piece. And multiplication is, is the dynamic of acceleration. Yes. So the church has been great on teaching about giving. We've been pitiful and poor all across the boards. Everybody's guilty. We've been pitiful and poor of teaching God's people how to take the 90% that they get to keep and multiplying Multiply. that money so that you can have an abundance.
to bless other people, get yeah. out of middle class, yeah. and reduce the amount of stress you have in your life. Right, and advance the kingdom, and build the kingdom, and solve the problems that, that God put you on planet Earth for. Mm -hmm. Okay, I want us to keep unpacking, but <laughs> before we do, because there's already people going, okay, I'm in, I'm in. So I, I just want you to know that today, Dr. Keith is giving his system away. He is giving it away. And so if you see on the screen, there is a website there. It's 83knation.com forward slash Jen Mallon. So when you go there, you get this. But let me show you, because I want you to see, he's not giving you a two page. Look at this, look at this. Look at this. He is giving you, what is it, 11 tracks? Yeah, it's literally like, just like the children of Israel, 11 days, they oh. should have went to the promised land. I What I do is I walk you through an 11 day journey where I coach you one-on-one, -on -one, how to think like a billionaire, how to think like a person who has 100, 100, 100 million or more. I don't teach you to study millionaires. Millionaires are the new scared. <laughs> Once you reach a million dollars, you're scared. Like I, we have Christian gurus. This is what the millionaires do. You don't want to study them. They, they get a million and they're, they're fearful. They're holding it on. No, you want to be a person of faith. So I literally take you for, for 11 sessions. And I basically give you my strategies, give you the mindsets. And I walk you through. This is a $1,200. I, I've known you and your husband for a long time. I've, 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 I've watched you behind the scenes wanted to meet you forever. And I told my team, I said, I want to give them something radical, something Thank crazy you. to bless them, to bless their audience. And this is what I learned from people like uh, Rabbi Daniel and other people on, on wealth yeah. that I applied in my life. And it, it was a big game changer for me. So you get the book, you'll get 11 videos every single day from me. Thank you. Because here's the thing, faith comes by what? Hearing and hearing, and hearing. So faith comes by hearing, healing comes by hearing, and guess what wealth comes by? Hearing, that's hearing. good. That's Some good. of you, you go to church, you hear nice little messages, woo, woo, woo. You already know, you're already saved, you, <laughs> you already know Christ. That's the, that's the beginning, God's your secret sauce. After that, you need to hear about, hear some wealth messages because your number one problem, the elephant in every room, at every, at, in every, meeting we have as a church, whether it's a conference, a church yeah. meeting, is money. That's the elephant pay for in the it? world. How are we going to pay for it? And nobody wants to talk about the elephant. Yeah, yeah. but you're talking about it mm -hmm. and you're empowering us. So thank you for investing in everyone watching. Now, I do want you to pray and minister, Dr. Keith. And, mm -hmm. and all of you, you can go on drkeithjohnson.com. There's so many things. YouTube, he's got all kinds of social media out there, things designed to help you. But I have one question and I want you to address it, and then I want you to minister um, before the program's over today. What do you say to the person watching that's 65, 75, 85, and they're like, it's too late for me. It's too late for me. I didn't get this revelation when I was younger. There's no way I'm on a fixed income. I can't multiply, and I'm just tuning you out. What do you say to them? Well, I feel, I feel your pain. Trust me, I do. And uh, I, I know what it's like. To, to be at the bottom. But listen, if you're 60 to 80 years old, these next couple decades of your life can be the most prosperous, most impactful decades of your life. You have some experiences that you know that other people don't know. And, and watch, with the information age, you can take some of those experiences, you can take some of those pains, you can take some of your knowledge, you can create digital products, you can create coaching programs, masterminds, training programs. The, the next generation needs your wisdom and some of you have checked out when there's a whole group that needs to hear from you. That's right. And listen, in my Financial Fast Track University, I teach you how you can shift, even if you're older, and create a business that can bring you in even millions. Amen. That is amazing. Thank you for giving a free ebook. Thank you for it. one of the chapters I love is is in the fast track or one of the tracks is mm -hmm. you know that no, 
to leave wel wheelchair, you know, and, right. and, and to go to different vehicles and mechanisms that speed up our destiny. Right. And the Holy Spirit wants to help us mm -hmm. and you're coaching us. And so thank you for the confidence that you're giving us, the leadership that you're building our faith and then you're giving us a resource. And um, I have a feeling that you'll come back and help us with a lot more. But I want you to be able to just pray with and just release faith, however the Lord leads you to someone watching today, Dr. Keith. Sure, be glad to, sure. I want you, I want you to know, no matter where you're at today, this is a classroom, right? If you're at the bottom, you say, man, I, I don't know where to go. Great, you're in the perfect spot. God's getting ready to promote you, all right? But what you need to know, what you don't know is what's hurt you. And right now you're in a season where you need to get informed, all right? So I wanna pray for you and I wanna believe God that God will begin today, this moment, he'll begin to turn your situation around and that from this day forward, it'll be the best days of your life. You ready? Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I rebuke that spirit of poverty off of God's people. I rebuke that, that safe and secure middle-class mentality. And Father, I pray right now that your people will get faith in their heart to rise up within them and say, God, with you, all things are possible. In Jesus' name, you can turn this around in a moment, in an instant. Yes. And I believe that faith is being released right now through these airwaves. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you, Dr. Keith. Listen, you can be more, you can do more, and you can have more. Why? Because God said so. And, and here God has answered a prayer. Many of you have been praying, and now you've got a mentor, you've got Dr. Keith, you've got the resources, you've got all of this. So you don't have to go to Epcot and get on fast track. This is your fast track. This is your fast track um, to occupying until he comes and building the kingdom. And so thank you so much for watching today. I come in agreement with everything that Dr. Keith said because he's just echoing heaven. He's echoing the heart of the Father. And I just prophesy over you that in the next three months, six months and year, you are going to see a transformation in your finances for the glory of God. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for praying for this ministry, sowing, giving, partnering. My name is Jen Mallon and I encourage you, come home, come back to wealth. Need to catch up on this week's Come Home episodes? Or just want to revisit your favorite conversations? Watch every episode on YouTube where you can share and comment. Just visit youtube.com slash CTN online.